I'm Larry Anglesano reporting for Aviation Consumer Magazine here on location at Sarasota Avionics in Venice, Florida. In a previous video, we talked about backup EFIS displays for glass panels. In particular, the Standby Attitude Module, or SAM, made by Mid-Continent Instruments. But that's not the only backup that's available for glass cockpits. There's also the L3 Trilogy. It's an all-in-one display that has optional heading sensor as well. For more information on the Trilogy made by L3, here's Kirk Fryer from Sarasota. We've had success uh, with the uh, general aviation market anywhere from a uh, King Air down to a uh, uh, Cessna 182 helicopters, that sort of thing, uh, due to the fact that uh, the the glass market um, uh, is a very uh, appealing to the customer for its reliability um, and other than the steam gauges. The glass packages we've been doing are the uh, the trilogies uh, and uh, some of the uh, other the uh, RC Allens, but the trilogies are the ESI 2000s are the best ones because of uh, it has airspeed and altimeter and heading. Uh, built into it. They like the uh, reliability of the unit. They like the space configuration of the unit, uh, especially with the Garmin G500s because the Garmin G500 is a, uh, a quite a large unit for the for the panel in a general aviation aircraft. Uh, so the Trilogy allows the customer to uh, fit it in some aircraft that it wouldn't be able to fit the G500 in because of the ST requirements of having a backup airspeed altimeter and horizon. The installation is very simple. It's uh, the basic units, power, ground, and uh, pitot and static. So uh, the hardest part of the whole job is cutting the hole in the panel. The, the ESI 2000 Trilogy is a very efficient unit due to the fact that it only it draws minimum current uh, with, with the other systems that we have in there. Most of the time these are glass systems that we have in there which draw quite a bit of current. Uh, so the ESI 2000 is a very uh, minimal current draw to the alternator system that usually is a uh, 20 to 30 year old uh, aircraft with an older alternator in it anyway. Easy approval, STC to AML for numerous different aircraft, probably under a thousand aircraft that it's uh, STC approved model list for. So very easy paperwork to do. So 337, send it off to Oklahoma City, you're done, sign it off. You could read more about backup EFIS instruments in the January 2013 issue of Aviation Consumer Magazine. Reporting for Aviation Consumer, I'm Larry Anglesano. Thanks for watching.